Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves out in Minnesota with a rather brainless Sovtard who's definitely drank the uh, Sovereign Sis and Kool-Aid as he is driving around with no plates and no driver's license and displays that uh, rather faulty Sovereign Sis and script to boot, but ends up in a shiny new pair of bracelets for his trouble. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy laughing at this complete and total freaking moron. Telling deputy stopping a vehicle that they suspect is going to cause issues. 113 Clearwater, if you look at his name card, he'll, the plates for that vehicle are in it, he's taking them off. Hi there. You need I'm, some help, sir? I'm, the reason I'm stopping is you don't have any license plates. You need some help? I'm not involved in any uh, interstate commerce. Do you need some help or, uh, or not? Are you stupid or something? Oh, uh, you're not involved in any interstate commerce, dude? Well, uh, let me show you something right quick, you miserable-looking sovtard dipshit mf -er. Uh, According to the uh, Minnesota... Uh, DMV website, uh, they do have a distinction between commercial and uh, non-commercial driver's license. So why don't you take that little argument of yours that uh, driver's licenses are only for uh, commerce and shove it right where the sun doesn't shine because, because that uh, argument would be only useful as a butt plug to keep more BS from coming out of your ass. Driver's license and proof of insurance, please. Do you need some help or not? Driver's license and proof you of insurance, please. Help? You suck! I want to be on my way. I'm invoking all my rights. I'm including in my the, right to... In the state of Minnesota, you are required to display license plates on your vehicle. I'm not... So Driver's sure. license I'm and not proof of insurance, please. Commerce, sir. Driver's license and proof of insurance, please. I invoke all my rights. Sir. Including my right to time. Okay. Right to time? Does this mean you're a time lord? Or does it mean that you are quite possibly Davros? Yeah, yeah, that has to be it. That has to be it. You are the incompetent version of Davros. Yeah, that's it. I, I need your driver's license. It is a state statute for you to display your driver's license. Oh, but officer, didn't you realize that to a sovereign citizen, statutes aren't exactly uh, laws? Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's this? Yeah, according to this... Black's Law Dictionary Definition, uh, statutes are laws passed by legal bodies. Never mind. Softard, you need to do a little bit better than that. That's a statute. Yes. I'm a United States of America citizen. Yes. But I need your driver's license. I wish to be on my way. No, you are not free Call to leave. Superior. Get him here now. You are not free to leave. Get your superior here now. 113 Clearwater. He is requesting uh, O2. Thank you, sir. Can I get your driver's license, please? No. Don't. I, I, look, look, listen, listen. I, I invoke Clearwater. my right to private property, Step and you're out. invading my property. I, I'm, I'm invoking out. my rights. You just, you, just, you just invaded my private property. Step sir. out. What for? You are under. For what? For one, Mr. Shepard, your driving status is canceled IPS in the state of Minnesota. Step out. Would you please wait for your superior? No. I'm not. I'm not doing anything I, wrong. I know I'm how not to. Gonna be, I'm not going to be violent. I'm not going to do anything. I'm. I'm. Sir, stay right I'm, here. I'm going to wait for your superior. Okay. I'm. Giving oh yeah. When does it ever work out for a soft heart when the uh, supervisor shows up? I mean, come on now, dude. They're going to do the exact same thing that their subordinate would do. Pull you out of the car because you are being a belligerent moron at this point. No lawful order to step out. I know how to do my job. Your driving status is canceled IPS. I'm not driving. You were. I'm not. And I wasn't. You, yes, you were. No, I was not. We, I was traveling. We can, we can sit here and play these games. I mean... Map versus Ohio. 
do you soft hearts even bother reading any of this stuff? I mean, with the way the electronic age is these days, with the filing systems we have and the ability to pull up this information at will, pretty much, you didn't even take the five minutes that it would have taken to read this uh, article or even understand it because it has nothing to do with traffic law or traffic stops or, or anything of that nature, you moron. Step out of the vehicle. This is not a vehicle. It is. make that clear. It's not a vehicle. It is a vehicle. Yes, my body camera is recording. I was looking at your name. Deputy Weems. What's your badge number? 7113. What's your reason for stopping me? You don't have license plates on your vehicle. I've already explained this I'm to not you. A I'm not in a vehicle. Yes, you are. What designates All a right, vehicle? We're, we're not going to keep playing these games. I'm not playing if any game. I, I have asked you to step out. Are you? What are you arresting me for? I've already told you. What are you arresting me for? Your driving status. What is that? Cancelled IPS. And you're going to arrest me for what? It's well, for no registration, no driver's license, and, well, you apparently can't keep a driver's license anyway because you keep pulling this BS, so, well, there you go. Now I got a question for you. Where do you keep your brain at? Gross misdemeanor in the state of Minnesota to have cancelled IPS driving status. What's IPS? In in inimicable to public safety. That's not a that's that's not a law. Inimicable to driving or to public safety is not a um, a reason for cancellation of a license. And a license. Is I am telling you what your driving status is. I'm not driving. You were. I was not. All right. I was traveling. I, I have backup on the way. If you don't want to step out and do this peacefully, we will drag you out of the vehicle. Why? I haven't hurt nobody. Negative. I cannot. I'm waiting for your. I'm waiting for your superior. Calmly. I'm not. I'm not. We're. We're not going to keep playing games. I'm not playing any game. Bullshit! Bullshit! Are. I am not playing a game. I am not. This is my life. This is my liberty. This is my freedom. I have a. I have a right to travel. You are under arrest. For what? Your driving status. I've already explained you're gonna this to you. You're going to arrest somebody. Uh, you're going to arrest a private individual for a driving status when they're yes. not driving. Yes. You were driving. I was not driving. I have it on my dash camera. It's so. not driving. I'm traveling from point A to point B. I have you to can, be able to sustain life. You, you can call it what you want, but without a valid Minnesota driver's license, you cannot operate motor vehicle it's or whatever you vehicle. want to call it on Minnesota highways. What's today? 322 of 23. Are you going to take me to a magistrate right now? No, I'm taking you to jail. In, in front of a magistrate, right? I, I demand all my rights. I demand to be put in front of a magistrate right now. I'm sorry, uh, that's not how that works. Because you see, you're not the only one within the legal system that needs to see the magistrate at that time. There are a lot of other people that are waiting to see the magistrate too. So you're just going to have to wait your turn, you dumbass. That you it's arrest not going to happen. You, you will see the judge tomorrow I morning at 11. I have constitutional right. I have constitutional rights that I am invoking, sir. Yeah, and SP ninety one. Where? What's your twenty? Eric, I've asked you multiple times to step out of the vehicle. Would you please wait for your superior? I, I've had them call him, but okay, I have a job to do. Okay, then you We've agreed. Nobody... Look, I'm trying to de-escalate the situation. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> Listen, I'm being arrested. I'm, getting, I'm about to be arrested, okay? I yeah, need you, you to call, to I need you to call 911 and say that I'm about to be... Um, oh my goodness, you are a total dumbass, aren't you? You have a phone in your hand. Why don't you call the police to take care of the police so that way the police can come and arrest you for misusing the 911 system at that point? Why drag anybody else into this to bring them down to your level? Taken against my will by Officer B. Weems, 
of, yeah, B. Weems of Clearwater County Sheriff's Department. He's seen me traveling in my conveyance from point A to point B to sustain life because I can't be stranded out here in the middle of nowhere. Gravel pit in North Town. I had the door open, but I stepped back. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Doc on my radio, and he just slammed it and locked it on me. Don't drive away. Um, Tell you the truth, this guy's starting to get on my nerves. Because, uh, uh, is this a retaliation move from something with your father? How do you know, how do you know the individual's driving status that you're, you're claiming? Because we, we all work together very closely. Who's we? Me and my coworkers. And what do, you, what do you mean you work together closely? Why don't you tell me what you... It means, just like any other job that you may have, if you ever had a job, we share information with each other so it can make things easier for everybody. What you're referring to? What does that mean? I, I don't have to. I just know who you are and How I know, know what your driving status is. Because I have a picture of you on my computer from the last time you were in Show jail. I, I don't have to. Who, who, who am I? You are Eric Shepard. Eric Shepard who? How do you spell that? What's your case caption that you're using? Oh my goodness, another soft heart who is, uh, well, ignorant of, uh, well, formatting all together. I mean, just because your name appears in all caps in a header on a uh, case file doesn't mean that you're a corporation. It's just about the formatting because it's a header, you dumbass. If you actually look down into the file itself, you'll notice that the names go back to the regular uh, cases when necessary. There's no magical thing about it. It's just that you soft tards never get past the headers. What's the case caption that you're using, sir? What do you mean case caption? You don't know what I mean? No. You're looking for a corporation, not an individual, bud. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass! Such a dumbass! You're an ass! Okay, I'm invoking all my rights, and they're, they're gonna drag me out of my car. Are you gonna break my window? You're not cooperating. We, we're gonna have to get you out of your vehicle. I'm not doing anything wrong. Look, these are three cops that have already... These are three officers that have already... I had the door open at one point. Step out of the vehicle. What, what, for what? What am I doing? Because wrong? you've been given a lawful order to step out of the vehicle. What if you do not step wrong? out of the vehicle, okay, you, I'm, 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 I'm you will comply. be physically removed from the I'm vehicle. I'm going to comply. Okay. I'm gonna, but only under duress. That's fine. You can do it under whatever conditions you want, but you are coming out of the vehicle. Okay, for what For what reason? Because you were told to get out of the vehicle. What, what's the lawful it's order? It's a lawful order to step out of the vehicle. What, what am, why am I being arrested? Because I've already you are told you for... inadmissible to public safety, so step out of the vehicle. Mean? We're not arguing step out of the vehicle or we're going to forcibly remove you from the vehicle. Do you understand? I don't understand. Okay, step out of the vehicle or I'm going to break your window and rip you out the door. Why? Because you are given a lawful order to step out of the vehicle. You are under arrest at this time. Do you understand under that? Under duress, I will step out. Okay. Yeah, under duress, dude. Yeah, whatever you say. I mean, we all know the soft tart script by now. Oh, I'll get out under threat of arrest, blah, blah, blah. You know the kind of thing. And with threat, by threat of coercion? And okay. My lawful, I need your ba your name and badge number. My name is Kenneth Olson, badge number 7304. I'll give you a business card as soon this as we're done, one, okay? This is the officer that falsified the, um, the test that for the for the DWI he gave me. He falsified. Okay, now stop talking and get out of the car. I don't have to stop talking. I, you're, okay, you're, we'll you're get out of the car regardless. Right free speech. I will get out under the rest. Jeez, dude, quit making excuses for yourself and get your ass out of that car. I mean, come on now, dude. Get out of the car, or I'm breaking your window. Tell me your badge number and name. 7304, I already told you. Okay, I'm getting out. I'm stepping out. Get to the ground. Get to the ground. I'm on the ground. I'm on the ground. I'm on the ground. I'm not resisting. 
I'm not resisting. I'm not. Hey, ah, my wrist. I'm not resisting. I'm you laying have resisted down. This I, entire time. I have not resisted one bit. You've re resisted this entire time. I have time. not resisted one bit. I'm not fighting you. <laughs> you took my keys. He stole my keys just now. Nobody stole your keys. They're letting my papers. They're kicking my papers. Blown Nobody away. kicked your papers. Oh, no, he didn't blow. He didn't kick them. They're letting them blow away, though. They are blown away. He didn't kick them. I I I apologize. He did not kick them. I am not resisting. I have not resisted one bit. Can we get my papers, please? Yes, we will. Once we have you in the back of my car. Can, can you get my phone, please? Yeah, don't let those papers go flying away. It's not as if they're actually worth anything anyway. I mean, the amount of time and effort that he put it together is probably worth more than the, uh, well, information on the paper. Will you get my phone, please? Yes, get I will. Get off the fucking radio guy! I don't know. What am I doing, you guys? To make, to make you treat me like this. I'm not fighting with you. I'm not fighting you. I'm not going to fight you. We are 10 15. Do you have anything on you I need to know about? Anything that's sharp? Can a pokey stick me, hurt me in any way? One thirteen, clear weather. We are ten fifteen. Also, call me a tow. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, no problem. Once I can get out of the frickin' jail. <laughs> hey, Gail. Was he on the phone or just recording? Um, I think he was on the phone. Yeah, SIS. I don't know who that is, but they just got hung up on him. on the phone with my dad, and then... Uh, <sighs> Yeah, well, you guys got this under control. I'm gonna go back to my VOR. Good. We'll do an inventory search and. Yeah. Good job. Thanks for your test. Yeah. Well, I actually went by it and I'm like, wait a minute. Grab Did a you say I got out? I was out on State Patrol's channel? No, I got out on State Patrol's channel. Oh, because I didn't hear me. You, I don't. When you radio. Put this in my car. Uh, go ahead, so no. Eric, your phone's gonna be up here, okay? You'll have it once you get um at the jail. Yes. I would like to use that phone. That's an extension of my person. Uh, my... No. Are you stupid or something? Stupid is, stupid does, sir. <laughs> He just tried telling me that his phone is part of his extension of his person, and I told him no. You should ask him if the meth pipe is part of his extension of his person. There's his ID if you want it. I do not consent to you searching my private property, my home. When's the last time you used methamphetamine? That's my home. When's the last time you used methamphetamine? I invoke my rights. Okay. I asked him when the last time he used meth was, and he went. He said he invokes his rights. So. Oh. Yeah, no, I, no, knowing him, that's why I was calling for. Her. I was like, yeah. and then he started being how he was, and. Okay. okay see you guys later. You want to unlock the... Found a meth pipe in the doorway. Right? You better watch it, kitties. That stuff will rot your brain. Oh, 
I didn't mean to do that, but that is not hooked up. I guess he velcros his ceiling on. on. Yeah. Got it? All right. Cool. Yeah, Eric Thanks. told me that. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. He's a, he's a peach. He's a lot nicer when I dealt with him. Yeah, no, he... I know. I don't know what you did to him. Nothing. Did you see him driving it? Did he, like... Like, how did this all go down? I went I went past him on the highway, and then he pulled in here. Oh. And then once I 100% confirmed it was him, I mean, either way, I was going to stop him for no displaying no plates. Yeah. But once I 100% confirmed it was him, or some Narcan. Well, at least we know that he had license plates on his vehicle at one time. I wonder uh, what the name of the soft art guru that it was that convinced him to uh, travel down this path of self-destruction. I have no clue. What is this? Laundry bag? Oh, I see nothing. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I found in the door pocket. Oh. So this was right here? Yeah, it was right in the door pocket. Right. So when I pulled up the... So I saw his ID down in there. As soon as I grabbed the, the thing to get it out of the way, there was a meth pipe. Right. What time was I... Oh, okay. Did you arrest me? Yes. When? When I told you you were under arrest is when you were under arrest. And what did you do after that? Placed you in the back seat of my car. And then what? Dude, whatever it was in that pipe, I want nothing to do with it. It's not the good stuff. Dude, she keeps trying to ask questions. I'm not playing those games. Dude. Normally I take Jack the trunk, but I don't think he's been in there in a while. Unless there's yeah. a way to get it from the front. 113 Clearwater, you did contact the toll, correct? And there you have it, folks. Uh, he put something in his pipe that's not supposed to be in his system. He smoked it, and he lost a few brain cells in the process and ended up becoming a total sovtard. Now it suddenly makes a, a lot of sense as to why he was, well, asking such stupid questions and uh, using all that paperwork to try to cover his ass. Because, well, he was definitely high. That's for sure. I mean, that has to be the explanation. I mean, how else could he be that freaking stupid and still be alive? So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?